Welcome to the Cadence and Church. Today, we're thrilled to share something truly special with you. We have always been passionate about the transformative power of God's Word, and today, we have the incredible opportunity to witness that power firsthand. We're excited to announce that we're incorporating the amazing ministry of Streetlights into the Cadence and family. Their dedication to spreading the gospel and touching lives has truly inspired us. And what a better way to share this other than by sharing a powerful reading of scripture. We believe that God's word has the power to change lives. And we want every person listening to experience the transformative touch of the Holy Spirit. So grab your own Bible, get comfortable, and prepare to be moved by the power of God's word. The reading is out of the New Living Translation. Coming soon is the Cadence and Church read of the Amplified Translation. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. As we listen, let's open our hearts and allow God to speak to us in a profound way. And don't forget, you can follow along with the reading in your own Bible at home. Be sure to subscribe to Cadence and Church, support our ministries, and also check out the amazing Streetlights ministry. Enjoy, and and may may God God bless you all. all. Nehemiah chapter 10. The document was ratified and sealed with the following names. The governor, Nehemiah, son of Hakaliah, and also Zedekiah. The following priests, Seriah, Azariah, Jeremiah, Pasher, Amariah, Malchijah, Hattush, Shebaniah, Malak, Haram, Merimoth, Obadiah, Daniel, Genethon, Baruch, Meshulam, Abijah, Mijamim, Meaziah, Bilgai and Shemaiah. These were the priests. The following Levites, Jeshua, son of Azaniah, Benuai from the family of Henadad, Cadmiel, and their fellow Levites, Shebaniah, Hodiah, Kelita, Peliah, Hanan, Mika, Rehob, Hashabiah, Zaker, Sherebiah, Shebaniah, Hodiah, Benai, and Beninu. The following leaders, Parush, Beth Moab, Elam, Zetu, Benai, Bunai, Asgad, Bibai, Adonijah, Bigvai, Aden, Ater, Hezekiah, Azer, Hodiah, Hashem, Bezai, Haraf, Anathoth, Nebai, Magpiesh, Teshulam, Hezer, Meshezabel, Zadok, Jadua, Pelatiah, Hanan, Anaya, Hoshea, Hananiah, Hashub, Halohesh, Pilha, Shobek, Rehum, Hashibna, Maasia, Ahia, Hanan, Anan, Malak, Haram, and Baana. The vow of the people. Then the rest of the people, the priests, Levites, gatekeepers, singers, temple servants, and all who had separated themselves from the pagan people of the land in order to obey the law of God, together with their wives, sons, daughters, and all who are old enough to understand, joined their leaders and bound themselves with an oath. They swore a curse on themselves if they failed to obey the law of God as issued by his servant Moses. They solemnly promised to carefully follow all the commands, regulations, and decrees of the Lord our Lord. We promise not to let our daughters marry the pagan people of the land and not to let our sons marry their daughters. We also promise that if the people of the land should bring any merchandise or grain to be sold on the Sabbath or on any other holy day, we will refuse to buy it. Every seventh year, we will let our land rest and we will cancel all debts owed to us. In addition, we promise to obey the command to pay the annual temple tax of one eighth of an ounce of silver for the care of the temple of our God. This will provide for the bread of the presence, for the regular grain offerings and burnt offerings, for the offerings on the Sabbaths, the new moon celebrations, and the annual festivals, for the holy offerings, and for the sin offerings to make atonement for Israel. It will provide for everything necessary for the work of the temple of our God. We have cast sacred lots to determine when, at regular times each year, the families of the priests, Levites, and the common people should bring wood to God's temple to be burned on the altar of the Lord our God, as is written in the law. We promise to bring the first part of every harvest to the Lord's temple year after year, whether it be a crop from the soil or from our fruit trees. 
we agreed to give God our oldest sons and the firstborn of all our herds and flocks as prescribed in the law. We will present them to the priests who minister in the temple of our God. We will store the produce in the storerooms of the temple of our God. We will bring the best of our flour and other grain offerings, the best of our fruit and the best of our new wine and olive oil. And we promise to bring to the Levites a tenth of everything our land produces, for it is the Levites who collect the tithes in all our rural towns. A priest, a descendant of Aaron, will be with the Levites as they receive these tithes. And a tenth of all that is collected as tithes will be delivered by the Levites to the temple of our God and placed in the storerooms. The people and the Levites must bring these offerings of grain, new wine, and olive oil to the storerooms and place them in the sacred containers near the ministering priests, the gatekeepers, and the singers. We promise together not to neglect the temple of our God. 